Integrative Medicine at Trinity Health of New England, I want to welcome you to this week's installment of Wellness Wednesday. Wellness Wednesday is designed to bring, in brief format, tools for wellness that will benefit you, our colleagues, and our communities at large. I'm Kathy Muller, and I'm here with my colleague, Tim Michaels, today. And uh, last week, our post for Wellness Wednesday was on You Are What You Think. And mm -hmm. um, Tim and I have had, obviously, many conversations on video and in person on some of these issues. And um, as we're talking about how that impacts uh, safety and, and how we really do have to own what we think and we can change what we think, Tim showed me an email that I hadn't quite opened yet. And it, it just brought such gratitude and such pride in our institution. And so Tim, tell us about that, uh, that wonderful email. I, I would be happy to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share a screen because um, I want people, it's one thing to talk about it, um, but it's another to actually see um, what we're talking about. So I'm going to take a step back. Um, this past weekend was Memorial Day. Um, I have a nephew who's in the service. Um, I have a permanent American flag in my front yard. I, I love flags. I love the furling of flags in the wind. I have since I was a little kid. Um, I happen to be searching on the hr for You website for our, our Trinity colleagues. And when I went to the site, this is the first thing I saw, what everybody is saying. I work for Trinity Health, a national Catholic health organization, 22 states, 94 hospitals. I know that we have uh, colleague resource groups in some of our hospitals dedicated to the LGBTQ population. This is the first time in my adult working life of 42 years that I'm with an organization that has put it on the front of a website. Happy Pride Month. So I thought that was pretty impressive. I saw this on Tuesday. And then on uh, June 3rd, which was yesterday, um, our regional president, Dr. Edie, sent out an email. Um, and I know it was him working with Amy Ashford, the marketing team, and a bunch of different people, but he sent out a detailed email. Um, and the reason this one stands out to me is it could have been easy to take the message from our home office and just forward it out. It clearly shows that they put time and thought into which parts of our history as the LGBTQI community, did we want to raise up? And he does a phenomenal job of identifying um, the flag, the colors, the fact that the person behind it was a military veteran and, and how that's gone. And as a human, an individual who identifies as gay, I have been raised to be on watch out all the time, all the time. So the reason I wanted to highlight this was two points. I, I just really don't have the right words to explain how it feels to work for an employer who has stood up and acknowledged me this way. When I have not felt safe always in this organization to stand up and identify myself. So I think my message that I'm wanting people to hear is I'm using Pride Month and I wanna honor all, all of our LGBTQI um, colleagues and parents who have children or siblings or nephews or whoever is important in your life that you love dearly who falls into this group, um, that we all work for an employer who said, I'm going to put it on front. Yes. Yeah. Right? When I watched us handle Black Lives Matter and put it out front, that felt really good. During Absolutely. nursing week, when we invited nurses to remember they could talk about their power, tell us the stories of your power and compassion, I felt good. But personally, I feel really good. And since we did You Are What You Think on Wednesday, I'm feeling this morning, June 4th, so Dr. Edie's message came out to me. I'm gonna say it was to me. I'm sure others enjoyed it, but I'm gonna make it very personal. Reggie's message came to me yesterday, and I got up this morning thinking, he has inserted a new sentence in my history and education. Mm -hmm. So when oh, I think about so my powerful. education, it really is. It is so powerful. Uh, he cites Stonewall, and my education in Stonewall is about violence. Um, the veteran piece and the flag. 
you know, don't ask, don't tell. That's what I grew up with. I grew up with try to be nondescript, don't lie, but don't offer, answer when asked type of information. So that's my education in history, and that is all true. Yet we have inserted a new line, and I got to decide what I want to do with it. I think that deciding what to do with it is such an important comment. Um, I, as the mother of a woman who came out to me when she was a senior in high school, my first thought was I was afraid. I was afraid for what she'd have to hide, what she'd have to cover, who she'd have to be. And um, she came out obviously later than you. She's a bit younger than you are, Tim. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> And, and she came out in a different world, right, in a different world than you and I grew up in. And that just has been a wonderful learning experience so that I can feel not as afraid for her. And yesterday, ooh, I get choked up just thinking about it. It just, it's, it's a safety thing. It's a, it's a gratefulness and a pride for this organization for whom we work. And in particular, um, our team right here at Trinity Health of New England. Yeah. So in my mind, I started thinking about it's been very hard, and we've talked about this before, these last 14 to 15 months with COVID. And we talk about COVID and we refer to, but I really want to bring out that when people started experiencing COVID, they were already in the middle of other things, their own health crisis, health crisis right. and loved ones, relationships that were struggling, teenagers, all of that already existed. You know, our 40-year veteran nurses who are, are saying, gosh, I got to get through this. I have a couple more years. I still want to be a nurse, but tired. They were tired then. Mm -hmm. It's been so hard to notice moments like this email. And I'm, I want everybody here, I'm not trying to gloss over anything that's happened to us. I am saying this has kind of shaken me to my roots because I'm owning something here around I have to decide there's a new line in my history, that I actually work for an organization that is inviting me to see if I can stop being on alert every time I walk in the door or every time I leave home, if I'm truthful. Stop being on alert. We're not perfect. We haven't figured everything out. And I'm not just talking about Pride Month. We haven't figured everything out on Black Lives Matter, leaders of color, um, women in leadership positions, how to help our colleagues heal. We haven't figured it out, but we're trying. And when I see a sign of it, a sign of life, I consider this a sign of life. Yes. I got to own my half of it. So when I said it ties to you are what you think, I have to start reworking the sentence that says you're not safe, be careful. I also need to start reworking the sentence that says, you know, uh, we don't have enough of this or this is never going to change. You know, 14, 15 months into this, it feels that way. This is an interesting reminder that there are some really incredible things starting to appear in our environment. And can we take a deep breath and see them and decide what to do with them? I don't want to say we should like them. That's up to each individual. But could we see them? Right. Right. And I think that this message um, just gives many of us just a, just a boost, just a little bit of a lift up. You know, after carrying so much on our shoulders for the past 15 months in at, at home, at work, in healthcare, not in healthcare, it it's moments like this that we just have to really take and savor and share, right, and move forward. The more we share and move forward with this, other people just get just a little bit more of a lift. Yeah. So I just want to say publicly, Kathy, I think this is really important. Um, everyone's going to say, so what are you going to say? I, I've already said on the gay man, that's not what I want to announce publicly. I want to publicly say I'm proud to work for Dr. Eating and the New England team. I'm proud to work for an organization that is trying hard to say, we see you. And they're okay that they don't know everything to do yet, but they're saying, we see you. Um, and I know it's painful for many, many people. Anybody who comes here feeling less than, 
whether it's your color, how you identify, your height, the fact that your relationship's falling apart, and, but you arrive feeling less than and still try to put your whole self into this work, we see you. We so I want to thank you for taking the time uh, to chat with me today. And I look forward to our Wellness Wednesdays coming up. Uh, as do I. Thanks, Tim. Mm -hmm.